Hello, I'm Michael and I'm from GWL Power Company. Today's video will show you how to perform initial charging, which is the most important thing once you bought lithium phosphate batteries. Now I will show you how to do this with four cells. It will take only three and a half minutes. First, check if the case is not damaged or the cells has not any other visible defect. We recommend to mark plus terminal, simply done by measuring voltage. Then we mark each cell with unique number. Write the measured voltage to checklist for later purpose. Use only the original copper terminals. There are many reasons why you should never use any other accessories to connect the cells. Check our knowledge base for details if you are interested in. It is very important to clean all connectors and terminals perfectly with sandpaper just before assembly. Even small resistance between cells would disbalance the battery. Remove all metal things from your hands. Use stainless steel screws, washers and spring washers, which comes with original copper terminals. Work with insulated tools. Connect all plus connectors together, then connect all minus together. To be on the safe side, use the fuse on last cell. Use torque wrench up to 9 newton meters for 6 mm screws or 20 newton meters for 8 mm screws. If you don't have it, simply tie the screws gently but firmly. Connect the single cell charger or laboratory power supply to opposite sides of pack. Use 3.55 or 3.6 volts for initial charging. Charging finished when voltage will be still 3.6 volts and current will be nearly zero. When charging, charger lights red. When charging is completed, charger will light green. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget that initial charging is the most important thing for battery lifetime. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for next videos. Thank you and bye.